Today we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be covering the Savannah Super Guide. We're going to go through absolutely everything you need to know to hunt every single species here in Savannah including a hotspot map and we're going to dive right into it. Now let me know in the comments what your absolute best trophy from Savannah has been and stick around right to the end of the video. I am going to drop a keyword. Drop that in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel and let's do it. And we're going to start here with Cape Buffalo. Now, Cape Buffalo are a class nine species. They go to nine legendary. They do need to be a nine in order to make diamond and they do have to be male. So as a class nine species, I like to hunt them with the 300, but you can also use the 338 bolt action, the seven millimeter or any weapon that covers class nine. There is no collar for Cape Buffalo and I would highly recommend carrying a defensive weapon because they do like to go aggressive and come after you. I like to use the Rhino 454, but any bow with six 600 grains will do great. And we got them. So max weight for capes is 950 kilograms or 2,094 pounds. And the rares include leucistic and albino, both which are considered to be very rare. Now, if you'd like to hunt them in their feed times, they feed from six till 900 and 12 till 1800. And they rest from 1800 until six. Now, basically with capes, you're gonna find them all along the coasts, all of them except for the West Coast. And you will find them at the lakes at the very bottom of the map. So that is a black, which is a common, and diamond for cape is 151.35. This is where all of my drink zones are for cape buffalo, and I have put the very best spots circled in red. The next species we're gonna have a look at are warthogs. Now warthogs are a class four species, so any four to eight rifle will do the trick. Their max weight is 150 kilograms or 331 pounds. So this is a level four max weight warthog and he is diamond potential. Diamond for warthog is 58.18. So this guy could be a diamond, I doubt he is, but let's shoot him and find out. So there is one collar for warthogs, which is the wild boar collar, and they have two rare variants red which is rare and albino which is considered to be very rare and we got them. Now warthogs drink from 15 to 1800 and they feed from 6 to 1500 and they rest from 1800 to 6 and there he is and he is a gold. He's a nice big one but not big enough so 58.19 is what you're looking for in a diamond. So warthogs drink all along the coast everywhere except for the west side and the best spots I have circled in red. Now the next species we're going to have a look at is blue wildebeest and blue wildebeest are definitely one of the easiest diamonds in the entire game. When you're looking for a diamond you're looking for a level four or a level five that goes up to 290 kilograms. That is their max weight or 639 pounds. Level fours make diamond quite a lot but they have to go up to 290 kilograms. So this level four right here that goes up to 265 even if he has a diamond potential estimate, which this guy does, he cannot make diamond. Now they're a class six species, so any four to eight rifle will do. I like to use the Zarza 308. That's what I'm using right here. And there is one collar for blue wildebeest and that is the Snort Wheeze collar. All right, let's take that one right there. So that's a gold, which is not a rare variant. The only rares for wildebeest are crowned, which only come in female and albino. And we got them. So both of those rares are considered to be very rare, not easy to find. So will the beast drink from six till nine? And basically you're gonna find them on all of the small lakes on the inside of the map. You won't find them at all on the coast. Now, if you are looking to hunt wildebeest in their feed times, they feed from three till six, nine till 12 and 15 to 1800. And they rest from 12 to 15 and 1800 till three. Okay, my dude, where is he? All right, so there he is. So diamond for wildebeest is 37.69. This is where I have all of my drink zones for wildebeest, so you should find them in the same spots. The next species we're gonna have a look at is Gemsbok. Now Gemsbok go to level five. They can make diamond. Well, females can make diamond at level four and level five, and males can make diamond at level five, but even that is a very hard thing to find. Male level five Gemsbok like to troll a whole lot. They are one of the nastiest trolls in the game. Most of the time when you find a diamond, it will be a level four 
or female. Now they are a class eight species, so you can use any four to eight rifle or any seven to nine rifle. So I like to use the 300 when I'm hunting them, but that leaves you with a very large variety of weapons that you can use when you are hunting for Gemsbok. So they drink mostly in the dark. They drink from three until six, and basically you're gonna find them all at the inside lakes on the map. You won't find them at all on the coast, but two of their best lakes are this lake right here and the twin lakes over here. All right, let's take this big guy here. And splat. So max weight for Gemsbok is 240 kilograms or 529 pounds. And there are actually more than one collar for them. You can use the antler rattler, but you can also use the snort wheeze collar, even though it is not listed in the game, it definitely does work on them. Now their feed times are six to 10 and 20 to three, and they rest from 10 to 20. <laughs> And here is our buddy. And I guess he went down because we hit thoracic, but we also did get along, so we are fine. So diamond for Gemsbok is 337.59, and their rares include dark beige and gold, all which are considered to be rare. Gemsbok drink at most of the lakes in the center of the map. The next species we're gonna have a look at is lions, and probably the most popular species to hunt on the map. And we have a pretty big one here. We have an eight mythical, but lions go to nine legendary. I have never seen an eight mythical lion make diamond, so you are looking for a nine at least 99.9% .9 of the time. They have two collars, the distressed fawn and the predator jackrabbit collar. Now I like to use the jackrabbit collar simply because it also works on side striped jackals. So I don't have to carry two collars that way. Or you can just take the new electronic collar. Here we go. We got them. So there are three different rares for lions, which are dark brown, blonde, and albino, and they're all considered to be very rare fur types. And as you can see by the hunting pressure on this lake, this is a really good lake for lots of different species. So lions drink from 12 till 1500. Hunting them in their drink zone is probably the easiest way to hunt them. And an albino lion is one of the most popular rares in the game. So max weight for lion is 270 kilograms or 595 pounds. They they feed from zero till eight and they rest from eight till 12 and 15 till midnight, zero. How you doing, Mr. Lion? So that is a nice one. Diamond for Lion is 48.5 and we got a double lung there. This is where all of my drink zones are for lions. Now, if you look at this spot right here, you can have up to four or five drink zones where there is no lake in this area right here. So definitely check really hard in that spot. The next species we're gonna have a look at is scrub hair. And there is one right there, I promise. There he is. So scrub hair are class one animal. So you can hunt them with the Virant 22, the Zarza 22, or any shotgun with birdshot, any rifle that covers class one. There are a few of them now. We'll do just fine. Now, scrub hair do not drink. You do have to hunt them in their feed and rest zones. So they are a little tougher to hunt since they lost their drink zone. They go to level three. They can make diamond at level two and level three, and their diamond trophy rating is 5.37. So you're looking for a max weight track of 5.8 kilograms or 12.8 pounds. Now we're gonna take this little guy out. Girl, now I believe diamonds are female. Now their feed times range from 1800 all the way to six. Now you'll find several different feed zone times within that time frame. There we go, there's the zone. And they rest from six all the way to 1800. All right, so she's perfectly zeroed. And we got her. So there's actually only one rare variation for scrub hair, and that is light gray, which is considered to be very rare. There is also gray, which is uncommon. And we do have more in there, and I am spooking them. Okay, they are pretty darn cute. So there you go. This one is a world away from diamond, but 5.37 is diamond for scrub hair. And any class one species, you do not need a vital in order to get full score. And these are the best spots to find scrub hair, but you can actually find them anywhere on the map. The next species we're gonna have a look at is side striped jackals. And we have a pretty nice group of them right here. Look at this zone, holy. Now, jackals go to nine legendary. They are a class two species. So I like to hunt them with the 243, but anything that covers class two will do the job. You can use the 223, the 22, 250, or the hornet. That's another good weapon you can use on side striped jackals. Now, as you can see, this is their animation when they're feeding, so they can be very difficult to shoot. 
cute. They stop for a split second and then they start running again. Now, the one way to stop them from doing that is get within 200 meters and then call them with their collar, which is the predator jackrabbit collar. And getting their attention should stop them from running around like crazy little jackals. Now, as you can see, they can be very hard to see out here. Luckily, they're in this open patch. But if you don't get within 200 meters, they will not hear the collar. Now, because they're so tiny, you do want to be perfectly zeroed when you take your shot. Otherwise, you do need to compensate because there could be some bullet drops. So I'm going to get in as close to 150 meters as I can. But the problem is, then they get really hard to see. So the biggest one seems to be our six here. So unfortunately, side-striped jackals do not have a drink time. You do have to hunt them in their feed and their rest times. They feed from 1800 until six. This zone right here is from three till six and they rest from six till 1800. So I'm gonna put out a call. <laughs> See what that does. See, they stopped doing their run and now they're traveling. So now I have a much better chance at getting a good shot. Just need him to turn. Turn, baby. Oh, he is facing me. And he's coming in just from one call really quick. Unfortunately, I can't see him now. No, that's not good. Oh no. How about you? Ooh. Oh, I thought she was going to get up, but she did not. So max weight for side striped jackal is, is 14 kilograms or 31 pounds. And their rares include albino and melanistic, both which are considered to be very rare. And there she is. So diamond for side striped jackal is 29.10. And they definitely are a tough diamond. They do go to nine legendary. So here is where you will find jackals and the best spot is circled in red. The next species we're gonna have a look at is Springbok. Now Springbok go to level five. They can make diamond at level four and level five and they are a class three species. They do not have a drink time. So you do have to hunt them in their feed and their rest times. Their collar is the Buck Snortwee's collar and that there is a black brown. It's not a rare. It is actually a common fur variant only for females. The only rare for Springbok is actually albino which is considered to be very rare. Oh, and we do have a max Weight level four here. So max weight for Springbok is 42 kilograms or 93 pounds. And we're gonna take that guy out. He is not diamond potential. Diamond is 78.55, but he is a big one. So we're gonna take him anyway. So Springbok feed from four all the way to 1400 and from 1800 to 2100. You'll have several different feed zone times within those time frames, And they rest from 14 to 18 and 21 to four. Okay, so he's laying down. So we are going to use the snort wheeze. Get him up. And the snort wheeze collar is almost a universal collar for here in Savannah. You can use it on Gemsbok. You can use it on Bringbok. You can use it on Kudu. And you can use it on Wildebeest. That's four species. That's pretty darn good. Oh, and they're coming running. Okay. That should be good. And it was beautiful. Okay, here is our spring box. And that's a pretty nice one. So right now we are out here. And this area is amazing for feed zones and for rest zones for spring box. So these are the areas where you will find spring box and the best spots will be circled in red. The next species we're gonna have a look at are lesser kudu. And I just about spooked them. So kudu are a class four species. They drink from 18 to 2100. So they do drink exclusively in the dark. You will need the gen zero binoculars in order to hunt them. They go to five medium. I believe they can make diamond at level four and level five. And they have two collars. You can call them with the antler rattler and the snort wheeze collar. Now they actually have quite a few rares. There is dusky and red brown, both which are considered to be rare. And there's there's also albino and melanistic and both of those are considered to be very rare. And that was the Zarza 308. So Kudu feed from 21 to seven and rest from seven till 1800. And you're gonna find a pile of them on the coast. Hard to believe this is a silver, but the diamonds are absolutely gigantic. So diamond for lesser Kudu is 151.64. And this is where we found them, top right corner. This is where all of my drink zones are for lesser kudu, so yours should be in very similar spots. The next species we're gonna have a look at are Eurasian Widgeon. Now, Eurasian Widgeon were added to Savannah as a backfield species about a year ago, and you will find them feeding and resting at most of the lakes in the center of the map. I haven't seen any on the edge, except for I do have a zone for them right up here at the top inlet. So Eurasian Widgeon are a class one species. 
I like to hunt them with the Virant 22. You can use the Zarza 22 or any shotgun with birdshot. Their max weight track is 0.95 kilograms or 2.11 pounds. And they actually have four different rare plumage types, which include Eclipse, Dark, Leucistic, and Hybrid. Now let's take one of these babies down. Now with ducks, I like to be perfectly zeroed because they are so very tiny. It is very easy to miss. So I mark them with the waypoint. Then I make sure I'm exactly 150 meters away. This guy right here. And we got them, beautiful. And then just wait by the shore and they will float right to you. Soon we will have labs to go and get them for us. So diamond for your region widgeon is 905 and any class one species, you do not need to get a vital on, you just need to hit them anywhere. So these are the spots where you will find Eurasian Widgeon on the map and my very favorite spots are circled in red. So the key word for today's video is predators. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click right here for the Super Guide playlist.